What's up, YouTube? Mr. Ferguson here. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel again. I figure this time I just do a beautiful Sunday morning view of the neighborhood. It's so pretty out today. Man, 76 degrees high today. Yesterday we was up at 85. Scorching hot, humid. Um, front yard is looking awesome. We're going to have a little Carbon X update, but to jump off the video, you can see here, man, the color change to the front yard and the backyard with Carbon X has been unreal. The camera does not do it justice, seriously. Um, Carbon X is so blown me away. Like I said, I've only used the starter before, but uh, we put it down and man, with all the rain we've had recently, you can really tell the color change with Carbon X. Um, a little clumpy because it got long. I actually lowered my mowing setting, mower settings, excuse me down one notch um so i got a few you know with all the wetness the grass wants to lay down and uh had to take a rake and go around and kind of prop it all up but things are looking awesome with the carbon x here in the front yard and uh appreciate you stopping by for another video we're gonna do a quick update um on something i got in the mail and also probably our last update on the brown patches uh if i can zoom in a little here we had some fungus going on right here by the gutter in this area and hopefully you can tell without me walking out there it's green as day so uh nothing going on there and uh yard is looking great so uh, and same as over by the mailbox as you see um domination line there so it's looking great so uh we'll do the mail update we'll do a brown patch update and also a fungus update thanks for coming by I want to show you guys what I got in the mail the other day. A beautiful new GCI bag of cool blue. Then if we just quickly look at it, you can see dark green color, excellent disease resistant, optimal heat tolerance, lateral spreading capabilities, and there's his website, gciturfacademy.com. So, Clearly, we're not going to be doing this right now um, in late spring or summer. Uh, that would be a waste of money. We're going to wait until the fall, and this is what we're going to overseed out there. So we'll have some, it is again, 85% turf type tall fescue and 15% Kentucky bluegrass. Now, being I'm in North Carolina, it'll be very interesting to see if someone like myself, a non-professional lawn care person, can handle the Kentucky bluegrass. Remember, it takes longer to germinate, and being that it likes the cooler mountainous regions, um, and we're in the, the plains of North Carolina, in the heart of North Carolina, um, this may or may not work out, but we'll see. It'll be fun to test it and see, and the bag looks awesome, so excellent job to Pete for the bag upgrade. It looks really, really sweet. While we're here, since we just talked about the seed here, I also want to give you a shout out to the LCN, the Allen Hain Lawn Care Nut Store. If you're interested, I just got me a new shirt recently. The more you mow. And it's got a little, you see, it's got the little LCN sticker on the lawnmower there. So um, I'm not the best model for shirts, but I thought that was hilarious and happy with it. So uh, came pretty quick, can't complain. So if you're interested, go to the LCN, uh, look at his merch. He's got lots of it, for sure. So we're back here at my driveway section, guys. I wanna show you this section right here. Um, what I'm gonna do is insert a video from uh, the, one of our previous videos and show you what this section right here looked like about two weeks ago. So as you can see, we had a whole lot of yellowing, brown, nasty looking stuff. And as we look right now, you see a little bit of that. And you see a little bit of what looks like grass that's died out. And again, this could be overgrowth. Um, likely it is because that color that you just saw in the previous video, I'm not seeing the same thing. It looks a lot healthier now. 
Um, and if you notice, like what I'm looking at right here, let's see if I can get it. Notice how the bottom of this leaf is looking healthier at the bottom, but at the top, that's where you're seeing that fungus looking stuff. That's what we wanna see. We wanna see it stopped, which is how fungicide works. It stops the fungus and then it begins to grow and the fungicide ends up on the tip and we begin to cut that off as we go about. And that's kind of what we're seeing, but we do have some blades that look worse than others. But overall, you can see through this update that it looks like that propanazole is, uh, is actually working. And we put that down twice and as well as the Scott's Disease X. So it looks like it's done its job. And overall, with those brown patches, you can tell they're fading out. They're starting to go away with a lot of rain as well as the fungicide and what may have been just the overgrowth. It's starting, starting to look better. So there you go. Looks like uh, brown spot updates can now cease to exist. So guys, we're uh, got the cover off the grill. Get ready to do some burgers here. So just fired it up, but I have to show you. Look at this lawn right now. It is absolutely 1000% noticeable. It's the first pretty much dry day we've had in four days. Um, we've just had nonstop rain. And uh, if you recall, we threw down Carbon X um, just the other day. And oh my goodness, my wife can even notice. She said, oh, the yard is so green. The stripes that the mower, I cut it this morning and the stripes that the, the just the stock mower is putting off is noticeable and it just looks so good that brown spot recall the sun's kind of messing it up but uh it's right here uh it's it's fading there is still some patchy brownness but as you see and this area is really trampled a lot actually while we're here i want to talk about this because as you see this is where i continuously walk to the uh to the hose which is over there, I don't know if I can reach it, but uh, try not to walk in the grass, but this gets trampled constantly. So I'm actually gonna start seriously researching stepping stones or something, because as you can see, man, clear as day, it's constantly getting walked through back and forth and back and forth, and it's just gonna end up being bare, and that's gonna look bad. So I gotta do something here, but anyways, man, I cannot get over. Carbon X has blown me away. Um, Melorganite's great. The Weaver's fertilizer is great, but there's something about that Carbon X here with this fescue in North Carolina, man, it just looks ridiculous. So. So uh, family and I get ready to go to church. Um, so anyways, thanks for stopping by for the video. Uh, again, just a wonderful, beautiful day here in almost June. So we're almost getting into the hot summer months. Not gonna be doing as much during the summer. So maybe a little slack on the content. Um, we're probably gonna do some green effect. Green effect, we'll talk about that. That's actually what you wanna use in the, in the hotter days of summer. Uh, to keep your grass looking green, doing some watering. And um, we might try a product out if I can get my hands on it, we'll see. And also, um, you know, watching out for weeds, seeing what kind of uh, uh, post-emergence we need to put down if any weeds pop up. We put down prodiamine, so we shouldn't see a whole lot of crabgrass popping up this summer, but we will see with a thick yard. It'll be another first. We'll see what happens as far as weeds. Do we have a lot of weeds coming up? or does the thick lawn actually prevent a lot of weeds from coming up? I'm hoping that's that's the answer. So uh, again, thank you for sticking by to watch the whole video. If you did, please comment in the video below that you made it through the whole video. If you're new here, please subscribe. We'd love to have you uh, around the channel and I uh, hope you guys enjoy your week. And thanks again for stopping by for another video. Take care.